This week on The Wire, prices booming across the world. Scrap stamp duty says report and 75% expect growth in next year. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, prices are booming across the world. So Australians aren't the only ones experiencing a property market boom, with a new report revealing New Zealand is chalking up some of the highest price increases in the world. Now, Auckland was in the same league as Montreal, Los Angeles and Toronto, which all recorded price increases of at least 30% since early last year. Now, Montreal, up 39%, had the highest growth of the 21 cities analysed by Huawei IQI, which compared the latest 2021 price data with the first quarter of 2020. Now, Auckland's prices grew 32%. Now, Jarway IQQ, IQI, I should say, Group Executive Chairman George Chimmel says Australian cities were near the centre of the pack. Now, Sydney was the highest ranking capital city in Australia, followed by Perth, which was in ninth spot. Now, Brisbane ranked 11th in the list and Melbourne was ranked 14th. Chimmel says Australian prices increases are mild compared with other capital cities in the world. And now, guys, for our next story, Scrap Stamp Duty says report. So stamp duty remains one of the biggest bugbears for property investors and owner occupiers alike, and now a new report has recommended it be abol abolished in favour of a broad-based land tax. Now, a paper by the National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation says abolishing stamp duty would encourage more efficient use of Australia's housing stock. It says it would increase the number of property transactions and ensure more stability around state and territory government revenues. Now, the report suggests the typical household in every state and territory, except the ACT, would be better off paying land tax on a median price property than stamp duty. Now, NHFIC CEO Nathan Dalbon says owners will be more willing to sell up and downsize or upsize if there isn't the added financial burden of stamp duty, resulting in more efficient use of current housing stock. Now, rising house prices mean all states and territories except the ACT have experienced substantial increases in the effective rate of stamp duty in the past 20 years. And now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week. 75% expect growth in the next year. So it's not just owner-occupiers that are feeling happy about the property market, with investors also overwhelmingly positive about future price growth prospects. Now, this latest Australian Property Investor Magazine quarterly investor sentiment survey shows that 68% of investors are positive about the market and three quarters expect prices to grow in the next 12 months. Now, while price increases from the current national boom have a few concerned, it isn't enough to deter the 52% of investors who still want to buy. Now, affordability is top of mind for most investors, followed by concerns about growth potential and whether tenants will find it difficult to pay rent during future lockdowns. Now, also a third of investors say they are planning to buy within the next 12 months, with Queensland the state most likely to buy in. Now, many said they have already reduced their costs by taking advantage of the current low interest rates to refinance their loans. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that is action. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.